Good evening Mr. President. Good evening Governor. Congratulations on your anniversary. Thank you I appreciate it. I want to thank my wife for staying with me even though. I talk like a robot. I wanted to start by thanking you for taking the time out of your day to have a conversation with me. I know you're usually playing basketball with the ESPN guys or on late night or something completely useless. That's funny because I just saw a video of you on television the other day. Something about 47%. That's funny. Maybe you should be trying to figure out ways of getting this country out of crisis. Instead of watching television all the time. If I am voted president I will make this country bigger than Enron. This country is not doing so bad. Just the other day I was approached by a restaurant owner who thanked me for all of the tax breaks I gave him. He said I saved his business. He said he has hired 10 more people on staff. Since I've become president, if you don't mind me asking. Where did you meet this man? The great city of New York. Didn't New York just ban sodas over 16 ounces because their people are too fat? I'm not surprised this man's restaurant has taken off in the fattest city in America. Go Red Sox. Regardless jobs are still being created and I am going to take credit for them. Did you forget that I killed Osama bin Laden? I believe a highly trained task force killed Obama. I mean Osama. And you took credit for it. Hey did you notice how close your name is to Osama? Congratulations Senator you know how to rhyme. I am glad your Harvard education taught you something. Your hair looks great today. Maybe if you didn't use so much petroleum jelly in your hair. Gas prices wouldn't be so high. Mr. President this is getting out of hand. Let's stick to the issues. I agree. Hey isn't there supposed to be a moderator here? Is that what that annoying buzzing sound in my ear was? I guess. Let's just keep ignoring it. That's fine with me. So why do you think you will be such a better president than me? That's an easy one. Why were you so much better than the president before you? Because I brought change to this country? No. Because once you hit rock bottom it is hard to get any worse. If I am elected president I will not increase taxes on anybody. According to you Donald Trump does not have enough money. I think rich people should pay more taxes to help those who need it. I don't know why you had to bring Donald Trump into this. That is completely useless information. That's like me saying Puff Daddy does not have enough money. I don't think Puff Daddy would appreciate you taking money away from him after how much he helped with the vote. Or, die campaign four years ago. That is a ridiculous statement, Senator. Puff Daddy is way cooler than Donald Trump. Obamacare sucks. You only made it so people would call it Obamacare. I made it so everybody could get the health care they needed. What do you think the emergency room is for? Not every medical need is an emergency, you fool. What if somebody has cancer or a disease? They need constant Obamacare. I mean health care. I think cancer or a disease counts as an emergency. Don't you? Boom roasted. You can't boom roast me I am the president. Let's go back to that 47%. Why do you hate Mexicans and black people? I love Mexicans and black people. They are way more exciting than white people. White people can't even play basketball. I love Mexicans and black people too, but let's face it if 47% of people in America were white, rich, and Mormon. You would be worried too. That may be true but at least I am not stupid enough to get caught on tape saying something like that in my own house. That's where you and I differ. You may be smarter than me, but you make yourself look stupid. I may be dumber than you, but I make myself look smart. Yeah you're kind of like the financial district. You look good on the outside, but in reality, you are falling apart. If I am voted president I will fix the financial status of this country and keep China from cheating. I know you may not like the Chinese or Mexican, or whatever. But the Chinese do a lot of good for us. For instance they make half of everything in the world. That's pretty good if you ask me. China is kind of like that friend that you use because they do all these nice things for you, and you know you don't have to pay them back. Who doesn't want one of those? I don't want one of those. I don't like piggybacking on other people. I like to earn what I get. Unlike you. Who likes to give away what we don't have? How does that feel? 
Did that burn hurt? I know it did. Boom roasted. If you can't be civil about this I think we are done here. That's fine I was getting tired of being so much better than you anyway. Oh wait no I didn't. Go Red Sox.